this mm -hmm. question from Justin Wilmot of Sovereign Risk Insurance, who asks, how is blockchain going to affect emerging markets growth? Mm -hmm. You know, artificial intelligence, robotization, how do you see that impacting well, EM employment? And I the, understand that we've got about two minutes. Left. Okay, well, I think very quickly, there are, there are a number of different ways that it's going to impact. First of all, in terms of the ability to jump technologies, we've seen that ability and the flexibility in emerging markets is much greater where you have much more uh, vested interest of labor forces and other interests in, in the developed world. So I, I, I think that's, that's an invigorating. Just like globalization for emerging markets is unambiguously good but it's more nuanced and, and complicated in developed worlds. Secondly, blockchain is, is, a, is a great money saver because it, it, it creates a massive increase in efficiency. Uh, and that's a good thing, and it's a good thing everywhere. But yep. the third link here is the cryptocurrency thing. And here I think there is a danger. In an area of easy money where QE uh, um, you know, is everybody's favorite friend, of course central banks are very happy with cryptocurrencies. But you've got to remember, just like the state has the um, a monopoly on the legitimate use of force. So a central bank has the monopoly on the legitimate, legitimate banning of all other currencies. Mm -hmm. And if they want to tighten, and at some point they will, I can easily see a scenario where Bitcoin and others are simply banned. They will simply be illegal. And there'll be a regulatory reason for doing that. Right? Yes, because they want to tighten, they want to reduce the money supply. It's as yeah. simple as that. And the money, and the, it's convenient for central banks the world over at the minute to allow these currencies to exist. Okay. That may not, they not, that may change. 